What's up, guys? I got $2,000 in my pocket. So let's see if something can happen here. Well, there's no plan for today, but I'm thinking a good start is going to be the flea market. You know, guys, I think I said it in my last video, but one of these days I got to buckle down and really learn everything there is to know about toys. I run into them all the time, but I never can quite swing for them because I just don't know the market. What's up, guys? I just spent 20 bucks. Let's check out what I got. 20 bucks got me this little copper selection. You know, I'm always thinking of doing something nice for the fiance, so sure. Truth be told, that's actually pretty sweet. So this is all under $20. So let's show you the comics I got right now. Big boys on top, we got the first appearance of Psylocke. We got the origin of Magneto. Uh, part of the Amazing Spider-Man uh, Maximum Carnage tie-in. Another great one here. I thought this was the first Deadpool versus Cable. I don't know. It was a buck and a very sharp Green Lantern just for me. 20 bucks. Very nice. I believe... I'm pretty sure that's worth well over $20 on its own. So, good job. What's up? We got a lead on a place that's an antique shop with a bunch of bulk comics that doesn't really know what they are. Let's go. Okay, now this was a weird one. This was quite a long drive, and it took quite a long time to go through everything. Who knows, maybe 2,000, 3,000 books. And guys, I think that they were picked clean. I think that maybe uh, word got out about this place, and everyone from far and wide has come to look at this collection, because there was... There was nothing. Guys, I won't lie to you, that was one of the weirdest collections I've ever looked through. I've honestly probably looked through about 2,000 comics. There was nothing in the entire thing. It took an hour and a half, and um, there was nothing. Nothing at all, except one book with some slight value, and they had four copies of it. For one dollar, I got the second's appearance of Lobo. Four copies. One buck. Very nice. Um, can I get the value menu uh, double cheeseburger? Uh, value menu. Can I get the value menu triple cheeseburger, please? All right, what else? Uh, that's it. You have one triple cheeseburger? That'll do it. All right, three ninety-three. Thank you. I wanted to get a little bit more of a jump start to this weekend, so I went to a comic shop, one of my favorites in the area. Now I remember why I like shopping at Zap. Check out these prices. Some great books that are very crispy for my Green Lantern collection. Getting this book in just $3 is crazy. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Let me tell you something, guys. That's not a $10 book. Thank you, Zap, for some amazing deals. And we got the 1 in 10 ratio variant of the first cameo of Larflees, Atrocitus, uh, Monk, uh, St. Walker, everybody. Um, ironically, I actually like cover A better, but this is a big deal. And I'm pretty sure you can get $100 on that book any day, easily. They gave it for $75. Same thing with this crispy Watchman, which, by the way, I got a Watchman number one from them about a year ago, maybe two, and it got the 9.6. So they said this was from the same collection. Um, so maybe 9.6, maybe 9.8. We're in Trenton. We're going to check out a shop I've only been once before and I've been meaning to go back to. Okay, that's good guys. Look at that right there. We got a 299 and a 301. All for a combined 100 bucks. Very nice. Good morning everybody. Yard sale season is back. So the plan is to blast the new Chili Peppers album 
and just hit the sales, man. Let's see if we can get any comics. It's a beautiful day. It was actually my fiance's brother who told me about this place, shot me a text early on and looked good to me, decided to make it out. Guys, you never know who's going to give you that text. Word of mouth is key when you're buying collections and checking out yard sales. Some good books, some overpriced, some just right, some under, totally all over the place. Some 5, 10, 15s, some $1, some 50 cents. Kind of a kind of a mixed bag. I got his number though, so uh, cool dude. I'll we'll be in touch. Toys, toys, toys. You know what, guys? <laughs> You know what guys, by my next flea market video, I'm going to learn something about toys because I just run into it all the time. I can't keep doing this. <laughs> he did have a 252, but I didn't like the price. Man, that's how you start the day off right. Check it out. So I got an awesome deal. First hardware, complete Ronin set. couple things just for me I've actually never read the Kelly Jones dead man run so I can't wait to uh, read that just for myself a little bit of everything in here another thing just for the PC I used to get these hero and wizards all the time we got a cap wolf and our final banger first appearance of apocalypse all for 50 bucks Guys, I'm about to turn around and go home because I just got a call from my buddy who I've bought in from before, bought from before, and he's got a bunch of awesome books and he offered them to me at a killer deal and so made a deal. I've actually never made a deal over the phone without seeing books, but I trust him. This is what you do if you've built years of trust. You can do stuff like this. So let's go home and take a look at these whoppers of books that I just bought. I didn't even know if I was going to get any comics today, but something tells me this is going to be the haul of the day, maybe even haul of the month. Well, I dropped a cool thousand dollars, which makes me very uncomfortable spending so much money, but with this dude, you know it's going to be good. Just by talking about the books over the phone, I knew that there would be a lot of room to at least probably double my money here. But he actually ended up calling me back and we threw a couple more in there and that's why it got to the full thousand. But let's just check this out here. We passed a Mr. Sinister, we passed the first Dazzler, here's the first G.I. Joe. All of these books, guys, are crispy, super crispy. First appearance of Bane. Up next we got an extraordinarily tight Secret Wars number eight. I actually gotta show you guys how clean this thing is. Check out that spine. You see any spine picks? I don't. Very nice. Yeah, Secret Wars 8, and that's that one I might want to submit. Uh, what if Wolverine killed the Hulk, issue 31, and then issue 10? Those are the two I always like to find if I can, and that's the highest grade version of that first uh, Jane Foster Thor I've ever owned. Um, this Avengers Annual 7, it's sharp, but not in the 9 range. Pretty much everything else here was in that super crisp. That was not super crisp. Uh, very nice books here. West Coast Avengers, 45, used to be a dollar book. Now it's all the way up to 50 bucks. Who would have thunk it? Uh, first Roadie. And this one's like the 8-0 of the two. And this one's the super, super crisp one. So nice to get two of those books. That's going to go in with my Avengers collection for my wall. Uh, nice Iron Man right there. Uh, Green Lantern Core 201. We got that first appearance of Kilowog, another book that's gotten stupid expensive. Uh, Punisher, the limited series, that is, issue number one. Here's a book that's climbed all the way to 80 bucks. Speaking of climbing, Punisher, the first unlimited series, is at 50 bucks too for a crisp copy like this. Craziness. Uh, this was a really sharp first carnage. Maybe I'll submit it, or maybe I'll wait 10 years, because this book has just got crazy cold. I think it doesn't make sense to sell that one. Uh, I've never owned this. First, uh, Scott Lang. Uh, awesome. Never owned that one. And it was particularly crispy. Uh, first Gambit, and I've got his uh, first full Gambit, and here's the first Gambit. I've got those back to back. Those are going to sell well together. Uh, another Strange Academy one. Mine actually just got rejected from CGC, so now I got two. <laughs> one for me, one for you. 
X Factor 6. Can't have too many of these. One weekend, pulled two of these. Not bad. This is one I rarely find, so I'm really happy to find that Deadpool versus Wolverine. Speaking of versus Wolverine, we got a Spidey versus Wolverine. And we got a Spidey vs. Moon Knight. Pretty nice. This one wasn't super high grade like these other ones. Uh, Moon Knight number two, the book that exploded. This was less than a dollar. This used to be in like 10 cent bins. <laughs> That's what the uh, Marvel speculation can do, guys. Uh, Marvel Comics Presents. Uh, we got like a nice $12, $15 book there. Uh, we got a Ms. Marvel number one. Very sharp. I'd say maybe a 9092. If I were to get it graded, I'm not. This, I probably will get graded. Another book I've never owned. First full appearance of Mystique. Never owned this book. I'm thrilled to own that. Twice in one month, I got another copy of the first Deathstroke. Whew! And we're going to finish it off with a nice, crispy She-Hulk number one. Holy smokes, guys. I just finished the editing. I had no idea the profit margin there was so high. I knew I at least made my money back, but I didn't realize that I had tripled my money. That's, that's really good. Listen. Well, the weekend didn't just end there. I'd been bugging my local comic book shop about this one book for a while. Finally swung for it. We got a Fantastic Four annual uh, number two. This one's pretty nice. I'd say it's mid-grade, like plus. Maybe like a six. Maybe a six. I'm thinking of sending it to CBCS, but I really need a good Silver Age presser to really treat this book with some good care because it needs it. Um, Man, the colors are so vibrant on this that I almost feel like I have to be worried that it was color-touched. <laughs> this is pretty sharp. Not a single bit of color was faded on it. Probably the favorite book of the bunch. And guys, that really is the best way to end the weekend. Now, when I say keep on hunting, go to flea markets, go to yard sales, find five, ten, fifteen, twenty dollar books for a dollar. Start to sell. All of a sudden, you've got $100 in your pocket. Turn that $100 into 200 Turn that 200 into 300 500 600 1000 Suddenly, you've got the mid-range tier books in your hands. Suddenly, you've got the big boys in your hands. And then maybe one day, you could wind up with an amazing Fantasy 15 on your lap. Let the hobby fund itself get out there and keep on hunting.